so i am starting this uh, today i have been assigned to speak on uh, document examination and forgery which is a uh, field of my expertise and i have more than 30 year experience in this field i started this journey, uh, journey from the office of government examiner of question document for uh, document examination as you all are aware that documents are very very important part of our life and uh, we can tell our uh, date of birth only through document and even our uh, completion of our uh, life journey through uh, documents. And uh, we are qualified, that is also spoken through document and we are getting something good that is also through certificate or document. So it is very important part and document examiner have to see uh, initial six factor when uh, the document examination is before his or her. In document examination, there are six interrogatory questions that what is it, where it happened, when it happened, who has done it, why it has occurred, and how it has occurred. This is not only for forensic document examination, this is for all field of forensics where these six interrogatory questions are required to answer and we go step by step to solve the case or crime. The role and responsibility of expert in forensic examination is examination of document or examination of any of the exhibits, then expert testimony by the expert, crime scene management as and when required and training and research aspect in the laboratories or other than that areas. As document examiner, while processing the physical evidences, it is important to know that any material or entity that has an important role in the matter or the criminal case that finally resulted in the legal proceeding intended to prove a fact in issue based on demonstrable physical characteristics. This may be documentary evidences or material evidences. So how we have to discover it, how we have to recognize it, how we have to examine it, from where it is to be collected, how it is to be recorded, identity of the document or any exhibit, how the packaging is to be done and how it is to be stored and exhibit marking and disposal of these exhibits. These are very, very important part for a document examiner to see for all these factors. Now, when uh, any document come to the laboratory, then it is termed as question document. What Question document means, Doc question document is the document that are potentially disputed in the court or law or document with doubtful authenticity. There, then it become question and an expert has to deal with the question document. Question document examination, what is it? It applies to the science and analytical techniques to the question concerning to the document that are potentially disputed in the court of law or party or having doubtful authenticity by using scientific processes, methodology and instrument. Question document compared with the complete standard material to establish identity, origin, authenticity and source. And law of comparison applies in the document examination. Type of documents which are to be examined. A document is anything that bear mark, sign, symbol, handwriting, or mechanically produced text which convey any meaning or message to someone. It may be conventional form of document on paper. It may be unconventional document on any of the site on wall or any mirror, glass, any, any of the area which is not conventional form is unconventional. Stamp impression, hidden marks, authenticity of all kind of document can be questioned. So example of question document, which we are getting a day to day in the laboratory as well as in the life of any person. These may be uh, document as a standard document or these can be question document. Very, very important document, first of all, is bill, which we uh, are getting for examination in the laboratory, where authenticity or genuinity of the signatures make very good uh, evidential values while deciding the factors or uh, the proposition of the property or any materials through the will. Then bank drafts, these are very important part in day-to-day -day transactions and uh, it is in the life of everybody that uh, bank draft, deeds, identity, theft, counterfeiting, homicide, checks, agreements, bills, receipts, forgeries, suicide notes, 
सर्फेस फीचर्स इंक स्टैम्प पासपोर्ट सर्टिफिकेट हिस्टोरिकल डॉक्यूमेंट लेटर डिपेजेस इन क्वार्टर मार्क एक्सेट्रा दीज आर टाइप ऑफ जनरल डॉक्यूमेंट विच जनरली वी रिसीव इन लेबोरेटरी फॉर एग्जामिनेशन एंड दीज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनी बडीज लाइफ section 3 of indian evidence described document is document means any matter expressed or described upon any substance by means of letters figures or marks or by more than one of those means intended to be used or which may be used for the purpose of recording of the matters so by the document any content can be recorded for a, for a lifetime principle of examination of handwriting first very important principle of examination of handwriting is that no one has better penmanship than his own so no two handwriting are exactly same nobody can increase his or her skill in the disguised writing the skill always to be less than the uh, writing of a genuine person natural variation also found with the increasing is it can be uh, extend or it can be restricted deterioration can affect It cannot affect one or two words. Then, if deterioration in writing is there, then entire handwriting will be deteriorated. These are the few basic principles of handwriting examination. And while comparing the question document, it is or any of the forensic exhibit, is it is very uh, important to have standard materials. And in the question document examination, standards are the very very important part of any examination. So. <coughs> which type of standards are required these are broadly classified into two areas specimen writings and admitted writings or specimen signature admitted signature specimen printed material or admitted uh, collected document which type of specimen or requested writing are required and how it is to be taken it should be taken on similar writing uh, surface with a similar writing instrument content to be similar in the same language as in the question because it uh, provide us large opportunity to see the letters combination habits and arrangement of writings content dictated to suspect more than once in a different interval so that uh, if uh, he or she try to disguise his or her own in writing that element of disguise can be eliminated if writing is taken on different intervals uh, for the purpose of comparison of specimens with the question writings and never show the question document to the suspect so there are more chances uh, to alter or hide uh, or try to hide his identity through the uh, modification or alteration or disguise of the character so question writing should not be shown question document should not be shown to the person from whom you have to collect the specimen writings or request writings and then there are cases where when you require to have admitted writings these are not requested writings as generally admitted writings are corrected from the period Uh, uh which pertain near uh, near about the question document so it is contemporary period setting which is very important uh, in the examination and examiner uh, get much more benefit with these writings because it can provide many more clue about his health his mental conditions or uh, improvement or deterioration his writing characteristic or her writing characteristic so model of signature should be taken alike as of the question document handwriting should be in the same language contemporary periods admitted should be preferred and these type of admitted signatures are very very uh, important wherever the uh, person is not available to provide specimen writings or there are health issues now when we are taking st uh, standard writings of a person and we have question document for examination then what are the characteristic with which A, a, a examination can be an examination is to be conducted and examiner has to identify three basic characteristic in both the from the both the set of writings one is class characteristic second is individual characteristic and third is accidental characteristic class characteristic as you all are aware that uh, uh, which is a common to a group so class characteristic are those aspect element or qualities of writing that situate a person into a group of writers or that give a written communication a group identity that may be a common feature in a group in a school candidates or in the reason wise areas the group of writing or writing in given in a class may vary in size from a small number to continent population it may have geographic religious national academic or political boundaries by which the writing can be 
related to some recognizable common content. So these are the class characteristics. This is very important characteristic with which we can uh, we, we can make a process of identification uh, relatively restricted. Then it comes to individual characteristics. As you know, class on the basis of class characteristic, we generally make groups of the writings when we have numbers of suspects with us. Then it is important and uh, individual feature is uh, individual writing characteristic, which is unique to the person concerned. And this unique feature due to nerve and motor skill that develops when we learn to write. And it becomes a part of subconscious habits. So individual writing characteristics are those discriminating elements that serve to be differentiated between members within any or all groups. These characteristics of writing are peculiar to a specific writer and are infrequently encountered in a group and give uniqueness to the writings. Sometime uh, during the course of examination, experts find that uh, there are some other features which neither covers in the class characteristic and nor the individual characteristic of the person. But uh, during the course of examination, experts have to decide whether these are class characteristic or individual characteristics or if both are not uh, explainable, then there may be chances of accidental characteristic, which may be arise due to any abnormal circumstances by the writer. It is certain that accidental are noted or observed in the writing of a center, whether it is designated or label given to an element of question writings that discusses significantly from the normal and natural writing practice observed in the writing center, or what which there is no longer plausible explanation. So uh, expert can exclude these features from the uh, writings. Now, very, very important part of question document examination is forgery and disguise. Forgery and disguise, what forgery is. So as per IBC, whoever makes any false document or part of document which intend to cause damage or injury to the public or to any person or support any claim or title or to cause to any person to part with property or to enter into an expression or implicate contact or which intend to commit fraud or that fraud may be committed, commits forgery. This is the legal definition. So forgery may be committed by execution of writing signature by typewriting, printing, engraving, erasing, altering content of document by putting seal impression, etc. Imitation or tracing of signature or writing of another person. Forgery may be writing the name of third person upon false representation, non-existence person with the purpose of fraud and cheating or defame. It may be without lawful authority, dishonestly or fraudulently by the conciliation or otherwise alter a document in a material part thereof after it has been made or executed either by himself or by any other person, whether such person be living or dead at the time of such alteration. So what are the indication of forgery? The appearance of being written slowly may be part of that. Blunt lines ending and beginning of signature in the signature part. Poor line quality with wavering and trimmer in the line to show that it is the old man's signature. Retracing and patching because uh, uh, forgery can never be a perfect forgery. There may be chances of uh, uh, and uh, features which show retracing, patching, etc. It's stop in the places where writing should be free and smooth and inconsistent letter formation. These are the features of generally found in forgery or disguised uh, type of materials. By using characteristic of known handwriting sample, the document examiner can often detect forgeries. Handwriting analysis also allows forensic scientists to make matches between a document and the author, obtain some writing of suspect as an exemplar or sample writing, Compare the trait found in the question document within it. The characteristics are often used in the analysis of letter formation in the course of comparison of writings and to decide whether these are the genuine signature or there are the chances of forgeries. So letter formation by the way of shape, curve, matter of angle, proportion size, letter formation, etc. Line formation influenced by speed, formatting, pressure of writing, etc., etc. There may be examination of fine leaf, pen pressure, correcting stroke, beginning, ending stroke, unusual letter formation, diactive placement, baseline habits, fancy writing habits. Examine questionable document for detecting traits and record them. Obtain some writing of suspect as an exemplar and compare these traits found in question document within it. 
draw conclusion about the authorship of question document based on the comparison these are the part of uh, comparison of the document so what are the type of forgery generally forgery can be classified into conventional type of forgery and now a smart time smart kind of forgery because we have various materials to provide uh, support uh, uh, in the in the act of forgery so conventional forgery can be classified into pre simulated copied forgery trace forgery forgery over genuine signature transport forgery forgery by memory forgery without model or forgery by impersonation and another category where they are taking a help of uh, uh, any materials or uh, technical support is electronically copied forgery printed document forgery erasure on the original document to create the forged uh, substances convention forgery or freehand forgery can be classified on the basis of uh, comparison and uh, these are a few features which i have mentioned the letter design broad features depending on skill practice competency while performing this type of forgery forger has to adapt each and every writing habit of another person and about his her own writing which is very very difficult because uh, if uh, a person try to avoid his her own writing habits which are subconscious part of his uh, uh adopted practice and uh, try to adopt other person uh, writing habits then uh, it cannot be produced as perfect result as is it is expected to be and these create suspicion that it is a forged one so skill of forger quality of signature quantity or length of the signature language script writing system practice write model these are the basic reasons on which the perfection or the closeness towards the genuineness uh, depend and these are also the same feature on which uh, expert can identify whether this is forged one or genuine one so detection of simulated forgery again perfect simulation is not possible it will be signature so superior skill comparatively difficult to copy the signature of a skilled person line quality of simulated forgery unnatural appearance line quality start and stop absence of rhythm absence of freedom pen lift etc aligning spacing primer etc these are difficult part to copy and can be identified document expert with having a length of experience these are few example of practice signatures so now uh, conventional trace forgery this may be by intended tracing carbon tracing transmitted light tracing projection tracing or pentographic tracing by tracing we can identify line near the genuine signature then detection of trace possibly lack of maturation natural variation will remain there and you know natural variation is very very important part of true genuine signatures exact superimposition is never possible in the genuine signature of a person so lack of natural variation leads to the suspicion about the forgery then superimposition of the signature defective line quality dimension comparison presence of tracing material presence of indented lines trace or model pictorial effect multiple tracing and outdated model generally used by the forger then forgery of for genuine signature on the built up document if genuine signature exists and some built up has been built in process has been made so uh, this type of uh, forgery can be covered in the in this category do signature is genuine but the content has been arranged with the mischievous intention and uh, that is covered in the part of forgery uh, such kind of forgery generally exists on the recommendation letter uh, or uh, some uh, other official document using the signature of higher authorities procurement of use of genuine signature forger exploit good faith forger trim signature from any source signature on blank paper are taken in uh, um, at any course of time substitute text or signature by tricking other more autograph name of flying leaf of book name and address written on a paper are used generally in such type of forgery detection of such type of forgeries again depend on the similar principle that dimension of document surface of document overcrowding of writing to understand the built up nature of document size of writing as is intersection pedading selen uh, cs in stamps where about of individual location of original source of signatures another transport signature uh, transposed forgery and detection in this type of forgery signature present over the revenue stamp are lifted from one place and pasted on another document uh, by adding putting uh, signatures stroke uh, to make it connecting 
uh, as a full signature. So remnant of previous signature, previous sites are uh, generally observed at that location. Plenty of addition of gam guns. Then damaged edges, feathering of ink, missing stroke, blunt edges, start and point, completed signature are different in writing instruments. Some suppose revenue stem signature in one kind of ink, uh, kind of ink, then signature overall appearing on the document maybe on another ink also. So examination of ink in also read that uh, some of the part of signature is added with the another writing instrument. It's this type of example which uh, we have received in the laboratory forgery by memory it is the uh, refer to the signature prepared by mental impression or form of letter of signature or writing of the actual writer without any model signature before the forger at the time of forgery such type of forgery are usually combination of normal writing habit of forger and letters remembering resemblance with the signature or writing of the actual writer no forger can memorize or reproduce all the features of signature of writing which are to be forged so it uh, then uh, comes uh, to be uh, the same identification module. Authorship of forgery. In trace signature trace, uh, forger draw the outlines of a model of signature. It is highly improbable that in the process of rank, he would inject his own writing habits to link the authorship. In simulated forgery, forger may leave few elements of his own writing habits in post signature, but such element may be in rare cases to have to pinpoint them. In the cases of forgery by impersonation, authorship of forged signature may be possible comparison of disputed signature with the adequate specimen writings and signature of person. Then another category is smart or electronically copied forgeries and detection. Signature produced with the help of electronic gadgets such as computer scanner or digital cameras or signature produced by facimile detection. Again, there will be no natural variation if the same model has been used. Signature not executed with the writing instrument, so line quality can be examined there. No embossing because there will be no writing, uh, writing instrument pressure. Presence of color dots characteristics of the printer may be there, so it, is, it should be examined microscopically. These are few examples of the cases which uh, we have uh, uh, examined in the laboratory where checks have been paid by uh, erasing the original numbers and uh, used at different location. Type printed forgeries. Some criminals use computer or typewriter in an attempt to avoid being caught through handwriting analysis. So fortunately, connection can still be made between a suspect and a document. Steps for analyzing type document is identify and examine quick Example of set or crook letters, impression of paper, font style, font size, and spacing. Testing using chemicals and different light sources to determine in composition and possibly the brand of ink. So the smart forgery, a few examples are like this. Tools and techniques required in document examination because nowadays multiple type of instruments and uh, technical support are available for examination of documents. So uh, first we have to go for physical examination and then uh, ink examination and overall examination for which uh, the tool techniques which provide necessary support may be photography, very, very useful in uh, question document examination. Then a stereo microscopy to see the line quality characteristics and indentation of any of the materials there. Multi-spectral imaging techniques available for examination of us varieties. It's the techniques to know the identification uh, indentation marks, comparison microscopy, TLC, wherever uh, we can have permission uh, to conduct chemical tests, test, so TLC can be um, done. SPLC, GCM, SFTIR, these are on the all uh, will cover it on the descriptive techniques. So wherever it, permission is there, we can go with that. Raman spectroscopy is good for in comparison examination. So these are the details of photographic stereo microscopy, multispectral imaging techniques, ISDA. Uh, comparison microscopy. Few are the features of uh, these techniques and instrument available for comparison. So uh, now requirement of good practice uh, for the investigation also and for the uh, question document examiner also that integrity of evidence should be maintained there as a good level, good practice when uh, any exhibit needs to be examined through forensic uh, expertise. And uh, this does not apply for uh, question document only. This applies for each and every kind of exhibit which are required to be examined in the laboratory by the investigation or by the judiciary to uh, set up the criminal trial and justice relief system. So integrity of evidence is very, very important part. 
prevention uh, from contamination prevention of contamination for a biological exhibit and prevention from contamination may be extra handling of document where it is to be physically protected documentation so marking are to be given uh, for the purposes of identification in future recording of evidences through photography videography instrumentation then objectivity which is very very important part of any examination of any scientific expert report methodology which we have used and there should be standard protocol which should be adopted by each and every laboratory then findings indication conclusion that should be systematic a uh, simple and uh, with the uh, examination support data with which we could arrive on a conclusion and then evidence presentation in the court so these are few good practices which are required for forensic document examination as well as for other kind of exhibit examination in the laboratory which is very important part of piece of evidence uh, in the court uh, in the course of trial and uh, to uh, fix the guilt with a uh, uh, now it is uh, thank you to all of you use of science, uh, science to investigate crime that prevent and by scientific evidences in the court because there is always something of a thing concealed is every course thank you